Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, up 31. Nasdaq's up 43. S&P's up 8.5. Let's look at that oil contract. Yeah, we little got a little bit of action. volatility, man, jumping over. And, look, man, you wait a that moment. That is a shocker. Look at that. So we were sitting at 57.75 almost. Yeah. When we came into that number, we saw the initial spike. We saw a drawdown of more than the market was looking for. And, man, it doesn't matter. Oil trading lower. 57.37 right now in the price of that October crude oil. That's... That says a lot. It sure does. That man. says a lot. No two ways about that. We'll see whether that high volume low is going to get hit. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kenny, Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday. And if you want to know the currency market upside down, folks, every trading day, you can check out uh, Teddy at Forex dash trading dash unlock.com. That's Forex dash trading dash unlock.com. Teddy Kegstad, what's going on, brother? Oh, it's a beautiful day in Chicago. We actually have warm, warm weather in September. It's a treat. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah, well. It, we'll try and send you some of our warm weather I, we to keep it going. We got plenty of warm weather, man. We we'll just send it your we way. We were just looking at our weather, actually, and it says it's going to be a high of 85 degrees on Saturday, and we both said, I feel like that's going to be storms and clouds, because in Florida, we don't get highs at 85 unless right. uh, in, in, September. in September we yeah. don't. But Wow. Gotta enjoy I'm just glad you guys are in one piece. You guys took, get, survived the hurricane. Yeah, we're in the we're West very, Coast. Really so. lucky. All yeah. of Florida really lucky, man, yeah. in general. So Big thankfully, time. for sure. That was a. That they was get dicey, and all through September, we're keeping our fingers crossed, man. man. Totally. So, what are we looking at? Well, we can talk. We want to start talking about the UK first, or do you want to go to Asia first? Let's Which talk Brexit, like? man. I, I, we never get enough of Brexit. No, it's interesting. <laughs> Let's go. What do we got going on? Okay. Well, in the past couple of days. Now, we know that uh, Boris did the proroguing and what have you, um, and I've done some research, and there's a lot of rumblings about them trying to actually oust Boris Johnson. I don't know how they can do this. I'm not familiar with how Parliament does and doesn't work and English politics work, but uh, over the past couple of days, there's an initiative to find out what, how and how quickly they can have Boris Johnson removed as the prime minister. Yeah. Um, if that was to occur, um, then we know that, well, obviously, there's not going to be a Brexit deal come October 31st. Um, that would be the extensionists would get that, and also the people who are trying to maintain uh, keeping the U.K. as part of the EU and breaking the Brexit deal. Um, so that's a big issue that's on the table. Um, right now, obviously, he's suspended Parliament, and he's going full throttle towards a no-deal Brexit. Um, we've had a lot of issues over the past two days with U.S. companies trying to figure out where do they fall in if a Brexit does happen or if it doesn't happen. And like we've talked about before, like we um, pretty much all agree, just like the businesses do, that whichever way they go, why does business and trade have to be disrupted in the short run? Why can't they just continue as business as usual and hash it out over time instead of trying to do what they're doing right now? Um, so that's a big deal. So I think that you can notice that in the British pound, and it's going to start to surface over the next couple of days, um, where right now it's going to be sideways. And then how we head out of that news, I think, will set the new trend for the pound. It's pretty remarkable that we might get another delay. That's almost the one thing that I was going to bet on as we came into this, right, that this was going to be the hard one, that no delay yeah. took place. And it's it's looking a lot more like that might be a possibility, which well, I should have known. You know, like, come on, where was I born yeah. yesterday, not paying attention? Another delay, of course. Well, and, and the big deal right. is that the the parliament's not doing their job. That's, that's you yeah. know, that's, that's the Votes other side of it. We know sure. politics is politics, but it's, a, it's, 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 that's, it's that's the real bottom It's got to be a frustrating experience as a voter over there. So, Teddy, you know, this, yeah. this pound, I, I can see that it's not in the range yet, meaning that, you know, where it broke down from. Um, right. And I guess so this is a kind of a dicey place where it is, right? I mean, it, it, it looks sure. like it can kind of sure. get there, but guess what? If it doesn't get in that range, that, that low is game again probably, right? Right. Well, see, here, here's the way I look at it. Over the past, remember a couple of weeks ago, we had this little turning point where um, the currencies that were against the dollar that had been trending and also the divergent currencies, all of a sudden we had reversals that came in a couple of weeks ago. Yes. So we've had a pound that's rallied against the dollar for a few weeks, and we thought that Boris was actually setting the motion towards really having a Brexit on October 31st. Yes. Now, if you look at the pound versus the yen, Okay. It's had a the pound has been strong against all the currencies over the past few weeks, especially the euro. 
okay? Now, now we're coming into this little question mark of whether they can remove Boris or not or put a stop to him. And I think that that's going to set the pound versus the dollar for a short-term break, you know, um, as far as in uh, momentum, not necessarily a break meaning a slide, but just as far as directionally, I think it's going to be sideways. Um, but what you need to look at is the pound versus the yen. Okay. Um, that looks like it's starting to run out of the gas, like it was a correction. Yeah. Now, if here's the thing is, the pound has been strong against the yen, the Aussie's been strong against the yen, the dollar's been strong against the yen, and then so is, um, so is also uh, the, uh, the Swiss. So now when you look at this, they're all starting to run out of gas. Now the yen had been in a strong trend against the dollar for months, just like the Swiss. It was the one divergent currency. Yes. Um, and the past couple of weeks, it hasn't been. Now, it's starting to look like the yen bears may run out of gas. So that means if the yen bulls come back, the pound's going to slide against the yen. Right. The other currencies slide against the, the yen, which also means the dollar's strength is not what's going on in the market. It's other major currencies that it's their strength and weakness that's dictating things. Um, and if that's the case, the pound's going nowhere. It's not going to be on a big break, and it's definitely not going to rally. So we're looking at a big sideways nature there, and I think same with the EU. So if you're if you have any currency traders that are out there to trade against the dollar with major crosses, I think you're looking at a big sideways reaction that's going to happen for the next couple of weeks. And you really have to look at more of the exotic crosses. Like if you're a U.S. dollar yen trader, if you want to know direction, look at how it's going against the pound. Look at how it's doing against the Aussie. Look at how it's doing against the Swiss. If you see weakness there in dollar and, and yen strength then that's probably where you'll see it with the U.S. dollar yen um, cross. And I think yeah. the same is going to happen with the pound as well, because the pound has been trending stronger against all these currencies for two, three weeks. It, now is probably the time where if it's a correction, then the corrections are coming to an end. And if it's actually going to be the beginning of a true trend, we're looking at a time for a pause anyhow. So I think that's what we're looking at for the next week or two. I love this education. Man. Oh, I love it. I know. You know, we just had the chart of that right. pound yen, and it and, is, man. And then, because Teddy, what happens is that uh, I follow the yen real closely, but I follow it the not the only reason, but when the yen is strong, gold is strong like beyond belief, man. Do you know what I mean? Right. The yen moves that, and so like when Tommy had just brought up when you were speaking, we brought up those crosses, and I can see what you're saying, but they are running out of gas, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Well, they look they are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, right, so now that would, that would support your gold rally. So yes. if this does turn the yen, we're looking at another extended move higher for gold. Right, exactly. No, And that's what I'm looking for because what gold has done, it's pulled back into a breakout area with dramatically lighter volume. I mean, dramatically lighter right. volume. So it's like, okay. Right. And then and we I, said I, the BOJ that did not do anything. They, remember uh, when the BOJ met a few days ago and last week? There was all these rumblings that all of a sudden Japan's going to start becoming hawkish and what have you and whatever. That's not happening. Right. This is not happening. Right. You know, and I think that this is going to be, it's going to manifest itself for as far as where's flight to quality in the short run with the trade deals. I mean, I, I think that this little um, inflection point has occurred because it's the stuff that the talks with China have been kind of positive, even though nothing's really resulted over the past couple of weeks. Yes. Heading towards, you think we're going to talk. Yeah. Listen, all know it's not going to happen either. Right. Totally. Listen, folks, you can check out Teddy every trading day at trade at forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy, you have a great week, safe week. We look forward to speaking to next Wednesday. Thanks, guys. And tell your people to look at me tonight at 10 o'clock Chicago time on our homepage. We're going to be streaming to you. Absolutely. I'm